Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splatter vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And we just watched a Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich, the latest entry in the long, long-running pu Puppet Master series. They're either on 12 or 13, depending upon your count right now. And uh, this is the big reboot. Yeah, yeah, it's essentially a reboot, so you can go in blind. Yeah, this one's very easy to go in blind. Um, uh, some things to get, uh, for Puppet Master fans, some things to get, um, out of the way right off the bat. Uh, the puppets are bad guys in this one. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it goes back to the, some of the Nazi theming of some of the better Puppet Master movies. Yeah. And Toulon is a Nazi in this and one. And played by Udo Kier. And played by Udo Kier. Um, yeah. Um, uh, who does Which a great job. a great choice to play, you know, Andre Toulon. He does a great job. I just kind of wanted a little bit more of him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I could have stood to have, like, a little bit, as much Toulon as was in Puppet Master 2, at least. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, uh, it is gory as fuck. Probably one of the goriest Puppet Master movies I've ever seen. Now, granted, oh, yeah. I haven't seen all of them, so I can't speak for all of them. But of the ones I've seen, this is definitely the goriest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to know, like, hey, how come you haven't seen all the Puppet Master movies? There are, there are, like, over 12 of those things. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, and not to say nothing of the fact that half of them are in one continuity, another half is in another, and then they created a different continuity called Retro Puppet Master, which also has, like, three, four sequels. It's, it's... I, most of the movies blend together in my head, so... Uh, well, some of them are ass. And some of them are really bad, yes. Um, uh, after the Critters movie, I'm not going to say anything definitive about any of the sequels that I don't remember clear enough. So, yes. I, after my Critters vlog. Yeah, yeah, because like the ones I remember the the best are 1, 2, 3, and then 4 and 5 kind of blend together. 4 and 5 blend together. I remember... like. A lot of the early ones use stock footage from, like, the first few. Um, but, like, I remember, like, 4 or 5, and I think 6 being, like, composed of, like, a shit ton of stock footage from the well, previous well, yeah, ones. Four, four, 4 and 5, 4 had stock footage, 5 mainly had stock footage of 4, which I think, which was weird. Yeah, yeah, and I could be getting that. I could be get mixing up different ones because, like I said, there's a lot of Puppet Master. Yeah, movies. yeah. Um, we I even I, watched a shit ton of them, and they still blend together. The only thing I could say definitively is that Toulon's Revenge, the uh, third one, is my favorite Puppet Master. Oh movie. yeah, yeah. That, that um, David Dakota. <laughs> yeah, that's that one's super good. Um, and uh, uh, once again, the Nazi themed ones tend to be the better ones. Um. <laughs> Uh, I thought this was fantastic. Um, oh, yeah. I thought it was at least as good as Puppet Master 3. Like, the thing that's great about this one is that, like, right off the bat, it becomes very clear, oh, shit, this is a real movie. Yeah. Like, some, some Puppet Ma Master movies have that feeling of, like, oh, we just slapped this together in a weekend, and we threw in some, like, stock footage <laughs> of the puppets. Direct video, baby. <laughs> and, like, most of it is just meandering long shots of hallways just to kind of pad the running time. No, this movie is perfectly paced. It is shot immaculately. I mean, for a Puppet Master yeah. movie, anyway. Um, it, it, it looks better than some low-budget movies we've been watching lately. Um, yeah, it's at <laughs> least as good as some of the as the best full moon movies. Oh yeah, definitely. probably even a little bit better. Let's well, uh, it definitely looks better than say like any of the uh, Ginger Dead Man movies. Oh god, know? yeah, 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 um, yeah, absolutely. And uh, <laughs> they did some legit effects in this movie. It didn't feel like it was composed of stock footage at all. There's a lot of puppets in this. Like, yeah. like I think they count that there's like sixty, but a lot of them are like copycats of others but there's a shit ton of puppets in this shit ton, tons of different types of puppets in this yeah um and your, your three classic ones that you're you're gonna want to know if they're in here they have three of the classic ones yes. which are uh blade uh the flamethrower one and the guy with a hand Oh, yeah, the big muscly one, yeah. whose name now completely escapes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of they... course, now that we're recording the vlog, I can't remember any fucking names. God damn it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the acting is legit. Everyone in this movie acts really well. Yeah, and the main character is played by Thomas Lennon of the state. Yeah, which was... I was That's was, the other thing. That was This weird. is a star-studded a Puppet Master movie because we got that guy, right? Yeah, we, we also, also have Barbara Crampton. Barbara Crampton's in this, Udo Kier's in this, and we also have um uh what's her name? That that Asian actress who played Death on Lucifer. Yes. Um she's also in this. A bunch of people I've seen in random shit and uh 
the holy crap, they all they all do a great job. No, it's, yeah, it's 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 a really it's actually a really good movie. Like definitely that it's a little bit on the puppet master scale, but it's definitely one of the best puppet master movies ever made. It absolutely does have like the puppet master trope though of like no matter what the plot is, we're going to stay in this one building. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because m- most of the killing happens in one hotel. <laughs> like, 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 there's some that happens in the parking lot, and there's some that happens on a separate location towards the end of the movie. But for the most part, it's all in this one hotel. Um, and uh, uh, to give you an idea of what the basic premise of this one is, basically, dude finds a, a, pu- a puppet in his dead brother's room, decides to sell it at this auction that turns out is the an auction for the puppets that belong to Toulon because of the Toulon murders that happen in the uh, yeah. prologue of this movie. And uh, so he goes to go sell it to this thing. But then at the hotel room where all the other people who have collected Toulon puppets are coming to auction off their puppets, uh, the puppets all come alive and start killing people. That's that's the plot in a yeah. nutshell. Yeah, in a nutshell, <laughs> that's the plot. Um, there is a... Uh, there is, the main characters, like, personal subplot is that his wife he's a comic book artist and his wife has kind of has left him and so he's kind of out of sorts and And trying to move on trying to move on he gets a new girlfriend and he takes her along with him to auction off this puppet and murder and all this murder ensues (laughs) super fucking gory like yeah Fulci or trauma esque gore. Like, oh yeah, like people get the tops of their heads sewn. I off. almost want to say bullshit. Fulci more than trauma, just because the gore is like legit gore and not like not all the gore is played for laughs. Like some no, of it's just no, fucked some up. of it is just awful. Some of it like, is played for know, laughs. There's some really funny decapitations in this at one point. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But it's a, it's a really interesting blend of doing gore for both laughs and not for laughs. It has that. It has a little bit of that. Um, Sean of the Dead thing going for oh, it, yeah. where everything is funny until we're dealing with Sean's mom. Yep. And then all of a sudden the whole tone sh- changes, but you don't, it doesn't feel like a completely different movie. It, 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 it moves from one to the other very well. And in a rarity for Puppet Master movies anyway, you actually are invested in the main character and his friends and their story. Like, yeah, you, yeah. You they're see very the... simple. Like, it's very simple, they're yeah. They're not, like, super complex either. Like, he has, he has the one friend who I guess is technically his boss, but is his best friend too. Yeah. And he he just wants to get laid. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you... you, 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 you... He's kind of a he's a dickhole, but he's not. You don't hate him. He's kind of like a Randall. He's kind yeah, of like a Randall, Randall, yeah. a Randall light, but like he's very Randall esque in like his his he's his best friend, but he's his best friend that's constantly shit talking him. <laughs> yeah, but you know, push comes to shove. It's he's like, there. He's, he's there. in his corner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there a lot. There's a lot of fun side characters in this. My favorite probably being Cuddly Bear. Cuddly Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will love the, that. No, that is obviously. I'm like, no, that obviously fan favorite name. Cuddly name. Bear is the fucking best. Um, I want, I demand more Cuddly Bear. Um, yeah, yeah. You're gonna make a sequel to this movie, which, by the way, they tease. Yes, yeah, so that's one thing I wanna, I want to uh, warn you about. This ends on a to be continued. So they are making more. And don't expect the entire plot to be resolved, which probably would be my like one critique. Yeah. Um, is, is, is that, um, I don't like it that movies these days are kind of doing the, uh, the sequel bait, the force awakens thing where yeah. it's like, we, we know we're going to do a sequel, so we're not going to resolve everything here and we're going to leave it to the next movie. Uh, curse of Chucky and, um, cult of Chucky. Did yeah. A similar thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, curse of, curse of Chucky was worse about it. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, but I, 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 I kind of just wish it like was a little bit more resolved and then just had a sequel tease, like say, uh, Spider-Man two or something. Yeah. Yeah. I would have, I would have preferred that. But with that said, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and they resolve enough of the story. Oh yeah. It's just that basically he does not stop the puppets. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the puppets get away and that means there's going to be more shit that happens, mm-hmm. especially considering what happens at the end. But the immediate, like, what happens to everyone in this hotel, that's dealt with. Mm. Um. Uh. So, let's see. What else did I want to cover before the spoilers? 
I don't remember if there was any animals that died in this. Was there? I don't remember. I totally forgot to bring that up with the Critters vlogs. I know. Yeah, it's, yeah, me I got... too, me too. I was like, oh, that's right. There's that whole scene. In, in, and for in... people wondering, we actually have, like, friends that, like, like uh, ask us that all the time, which is why we started putting it in the videos. So, yeah, if yeah. you're wondering why I always say, like, oh, and fur babies don't die in this movie, that's because, like, the one friend that wants to make sure that that doesn't happen because she can't handle it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, yeah, because people have this weird thing about animals. Yes, animals you are know? tougher. Uh, even tougher than kids. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, kids dying, a lot fewer people have problems mm -hmm. with. But animals dying, that's, like, a whole other level. Yeah, but I, I, can't, I can't remember if anything like that happened in this movie. I, I, they were at a hotel. No one brought their dog or anything. so. I Yeah, I can't remember. Nothing stands no. out, definitely. Um, this movie is super Nazi. Um, uh, the puppets are Nazi Nazis, hence the, uh, Littlest Reich. So, uh. Yeah. So if, this if, is, this is how you know it's a, it's a reboot because yeah. in the original Puppet Master, Toulon was working against the Nazis. Yeah, I remember, I remember that in, uh, yeah. Toulon's Revenge. Yep. Um, and, uh, I guess we'll just... I highly recommend this. I will include some sort of Amazon affiliate link in the description below to the movie. And if you click that link and buy or rent the movie with that link, I will get a kickback from it. And uh, with that said, let us move on to the spoilers because I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I don't know what to spoil. Like, it's not the the big spoiler really comes at the end. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, because basically, the idea is is that Toulon in the prologue is killed by the cops in like a shootout, um, and he's presumed to be dead, and all the puppets just seemingly are coming alive. But then at the end, it turns out he's actually alive in his tomb, and his tomb has like Frankenstein like rods. Yeah, that yeah. Are it's got like back rebar fucking sticking out of it at weird angles, and like know? he's like controlling the puppets like drones in this. Which is interesting. Yeah, there's a drone <laughs> puppet that's like a little, yeah, little guy yeah. with a helicopter hand. There's also a frog, which I was like, well, that's a weird one. <laughs> there was a frog and there was like a, um, what was it, like a grasshopper thing? Now, here's the thing. I haven't seen all the Puppet Master movies, so some of these puppets might have been from like some of the the previous ones that like they just did in the early 2010s that I didn't watch. Yeah, good, um, but, I mean, but I don't remember a grasshopper puppet or a fucking In the originals, no. In yeah. the originals, no. But I like I said... If they are in, uh, for example, Axis of Evil. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. I, I don't want someone yelling at me in the comment section about that. Right. The, <laughs> one, the one puppet that I was really surprised didn't make a comeback was Leech Woman. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. 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 Leech Woman, I, I thought for sure was going to be in there somewhere, but no, she never shows up. No, no, she never does. You know, although there is a lot of torch. Torch, you know, because he looks the most Nazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be real. Like yeah. he looks like he's like he's he's a fucking a stormtrooper running around. Burn. Um, yeah, and then there's the one guy, the one Jewish guy who throws him, it throws torch at the oven. Goes, how does it feel? That's a thing I really like about this movie. Um, uh, and it's kind of uncomfortable, but I kind of like it. Um, it's that. All the victims in this movie are the kind of people that the Nazis victimize. You have gay characters, you have uh, gypsies, you have um, you have Jewish people, um, just about everyone in between. I, Romani, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Romani. I, well, I think they 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 actually referred to him as Gypsy in the movie, which is why my brain immediately said that. But yeah. I know that's a slur. My bad. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, uh, and. Uh, it's them fighting the puppets. Now, often losing to the puppets, but still fighting the puppets nonetheless. And I kind of dug that. Yeah, yeah. They consistently, the thing I kind of like is they consistently damn physics. <laughs> you know, like like if if um, the guy with the hands can fucking crush your skull in one scene, he could still do that yep. next. It's not like, oh, now all of a sudden he's weak because all of a sudden leverage works. You it know? does create this really interesting dissonance, though, because you end up in this like weird state where you're simultaneously extra rooting for them because it's the Nazis and the people they victimized, right? So you're extra rooting for the people to live. But you're also 
kind of wanting to root for the puppets to die to kill them because you like the, like the because cool, you like the puppets the, you yeah, like the puppets yeah. and you like the cool gore so it creates this really interesting uncomfortable dissonance that kind of makes the movie even more horrifying <laughs> and uh i i kind of dug that but i i recognize that's not gonna be for everyone so be forewarned about that i'm, I'm kind of hoping that i'm kind of <laughs> hoping that what they do at the end is they make um thomas lennon like eventually make him the new puppet master That'd be cool, you know, you know, and That'd then he cool. get, then then the puppets can kill bad guys again. That'd be and awesome. Then we, can, we can feel all good. That'd you be know? super awesome. Um, uh, I I liked. I did not expect the girlfriend to die. No, 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 because towards the, the end of the movie, that at the end when uh, Toulon rises again as like looking like the fucking zombie from Return of the Living Dead yeah, or something. He looks shit. like a tar man and like, shit. Like wait, crossed yeah. crossed with um uh what's his name from uh House. The uh the the big oh, like, Vietnam the vet. Vietnam dude played he, by Richard Mall yeah, yeah yeah he looks like a cross between those two, um and he shows up and like he's like he looks like really super intimidating but then he kind of gets beaten off and then like pulls out a gun yeah he pulls out a gun <laughs> and shoots, shoots her in the her head, head. And I was like, like whoa. I wasn't expecting that. And then what I was extra not expecting was the movie to basically end right after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a to be continued, I was like, "Whoa, okay, all right, Puppet Master, extra not fucking around." Yeah. Um. Uh. The, the, oh God! Like, there's so many great gore scenes in this too that I want to talk about. Like, the baby one, the pregnant <laughs> woman, and the fucking puppet goes into her cooch and then digs <laughs> through her stomach and comes out like the fucking chest burster, <laughs> holding the fetus, fetus in her hand. Yeah, yeah. In his hand. Oh my God, that was brilliant. The that fucking brilliant. dude pissing, and then the drone cuts off his head, and it flies into the toilet bowl. Yeah, while his body's <laughs> still pissing, so he's yeah, pissing on his own pissing face. Pissing on his own face. <laughs> like, this movie goes all the way with its fucking gore and its violence. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking crazy. Um, there's a thing at the end of the movie, after the credits. That's a spoiler. Yeah. Cuddly Bear lives at the end of the credits. <laughs> yeah, because it looks like he dies, but like... They didn't kill him in a way that he couldn't have survived. Nope. And so he shook, He comes through the door all covered in blood and, like, wounds everywhere. Knocks over the door. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask, baby. I'm home. Like, it's like his girl's, like, taking a bubble bath. Because basically, like, like, don't okay, ask, baby. If you haven't watched the movie, Cuddly Bear is the bartender that the Jewish guy tries to get to help him get laid at the bar. And Cuddly Bear talks to himself, talks about himself in the third person. So everything is like, sure, Cuddly Bear will help you. Or, or, or like something like, hey, uh, how, how much uh, to put laxative in that girl that just rejected me's drink? Uh, it's like, uh, Cuddly Bear will take seven... Uh, uh, 750. 750. It's like, that's an oddly specific num number. Cully Bear don't want to hurt nobody, but Cully Bear capitalist. <laughs> and and, and Cully Bear's wife wants uh, a new, a new TV. TV. Wants a new high def television. So. And this character, mm. it just becomes the best. And then, like, like Cully Bear also, like, saves a kid. At oh, one yeah, point. yeah. Or at least tries to. Let's be real. Kid don't make it. But he tries to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you didn't know, like, man, apparently, like, fucking Blade's blade is, like, extra sharp in this one. Oh, Damn. man. Yeah, this, this is fucking He's fucking, fucking taking, like, the tops of the I also liked. I also like that new design for him. He, it, look, it looked pretty cool. Yeah, it does. It does. You know, I don't Although, know if it did. It did run into one of the problems with the puppets. That? Which is that some of the puppets are not as expressive as they were in oh. other movies. Like, Blade being a really prime example. You know, um... Because even though the original Blade is like, it, it looks really goofy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the puppeteer was a lot, was able to do a lot with just like opening the mouth a little bit mm -hmm. or moving the eyeballs just a little bit forward, mm -hmm. you know, which, which this one doesn't quite have. It's more, okay. he's just yeah, more just that. a skull, you know, but with that said, the funny thing is, is even though they don't animate as much, they look way better. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple goofy shots, shots of like the puppets, like running. That oh looks yeah, silly yeah, as yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> you know, your you... mileage mileage may vary with those shots, but I, I, they endeared themselves to me. I was like, that, that's, that's adorable as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, well, they they knew they weren't going to get around that, so they just leaned into it. Yeah, you know. Um, people get their arms ripped off by the fucking big strong one. Yeah. Uh, fuck. There's. 
There's some like really horrifying ones, like the one that makes it look like uh, this one lesbian woman's wife committed suicide. Ooh, that was pretty horrifying. That was rough. Like, yeah. There, there's a. It's interesting how it jumps between being like rough and horrifying, and like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like you know the the pregnant woman murder scene is really obviously played for laughs. Oh yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. It's like here's your baby. Uh, you know, <laughs> God. Um, I, I, I loved, uh, I, I love the, the, the Jewish best friend slash boss guy. Like he starts off as like a complete asshole, very Randall like, but by the end of it, when he's willing to go save that, that woman, because it's his people. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was just like, oh, he's endearing himself to me. He's, he's, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a, it's definitely a like, y- you know, geek boys do good kind of, kind of movie. Yeah. You know, it's like, there's, he was like, he was like, he was like this close to going full bear Jew, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which would have been awesome, uh, but he, he almost got there uh, and then he didn't necessarily make it, <laughs> but he almost there's, got there's a lot of death. There's a lot, a lot of, killing there's a lot of death. One. He got probably the, the, the most, uh, fanfare out of his death though. Um, yeah, it definitely it's definitely one of the ones where you found yourself kind of invested in what was going on. Mm-hmm. You know, much like Toulon's Revenge. Because wait, 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 was that the second one or the third? Look, Pub Master Three. Okay, I believe that's the third one. Toulon's you know? Revenge. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, feel free to yell at me at that. But that one, I'm pretty sure about. Yeah, you know, because that one, that one had the largely the best character beats because mm. it was like because it was Toulon, his wife, and the guy who eventually becomes blind. Oh yeah. You know, and this has something very similar where all the characters are very memorable, everything's done really well. It it it, it it's weird because like it it's it's almost too good for a full moon movie, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking when I was watching it. I was like, "Are, are we sure Full Moon did this?" Because yeah, yeah, this um, is like a this is a this is a higher quality than even their better movies. So yeah, yeah, this is like yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't even know how to say it. Like it, it, it's 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 really good. It's you also know? a lot of really funny dialogue. Um, like my favorite probably being like the whole exchange. Besides Cuddly Bear, besides everything Cuddly Bear says, my favorite probably being the whole exchange of like. Um, had I not died tonight, um, would you have slept 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 with me? (laughs) It's like, that's 60% sure I would have. Well, I'm pretty sure she said, uh, uh, we would have gotten married and had kids. Aww. (laughs) If I remember correctly. I might have gotten the line wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Um, she was adorable too. She also got, like, the most, holy shit, I wasn't expecting that death. Oh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of, lot of killing. A lot of killing. A lot killing. of killing. Well, there's like an entire massacre in a parking lot in which people are just being slaughtered left and right. It's great. There's even like a Jay and Silent Bob style characters. Yeah. Uh, stoners at one point that, that get killed. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is everything you want from a Puppet Master movie. It is probably one of the best Puppet Master movies. So if you're looking to start watching Puppet Master, this would be a great start. The only problem with watching it first is that It'll make a lot of those other ones a letdown. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll be like, oh, I'll start at the beginning. Oh, number one is not as good as this one. Number two is better than number one, but, uh, you know, it's still, like, got a lot of, like, useless characters who are just there to fill out the body count. Because this takes everything that works about the good ones and even the what works about the bad ones and amps it up to 11 with about the only thing it... Mm, with about the only thing missing being that the original Puppet Master movies always had this, like, almost, like, pseudo-gothic atmosphere. That's yeah. not present here. Now, granted, the only reason why the original movies had that atmosphere is because they were padding the running time. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah, long yeah. shots of, like, storms and things like that. And yeah, hallways. long shots of storms. They also, it's also because they, they uh, kept filming at, the, uh, at that one uh, hotel in Bodega Bay. Yeah. You know, um, which I don't even think is there anymore. It's why they were able to use so much stock footage because, like, the locations they filmed at were either the same location or similar enough to where they could just yeah, insert yeah, the puppet exactly. walking there. Yeah. Whereas this one feels much more like a, like a real hotel out in the middle of kind of nowhere. Yeah. It felt like know? a legit hotel. Yeah. Definitely. Also, 
uh, the puppets move a lot faster here than any of the original ones. I don't know about the recent ones, but like the original ones, the puppets were always usually slow. Yeah, they usually move. And at here the they're like puppet. they're like running around like fucking Chucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here they, yeah, they move it. They move like twenty five miles an hour at running speed, mm-hmm. pretty quick. You know, and you're like, oh shit, fucking. Well, I don't. No, I, I, I give this a two thumbs up. Uh, Littlest Reich, uh, one of the best Puppet Master movies uh, yet. And I look forward to the next one and seeing where this uh, plot thread goes. And with that said, where can they find you, Count Jacula? You can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Twitch. Um, and I stream, the big streams, the big two weekly streams that we do are on Thursday, Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. and... 9 p.m. on Sunday Pacific Standard Time. And we talk about all sorts of like weird and random things, you know, having to deal with uh, horror and the occult. The occult. And, you know, sometimes we wander who into you that fucked in the past. You fucked in, yeah, <laughs> that, that, sexual, that sexual history, you know. You know, you know you've know, you tuned in when uh, Jax had like three or four drinks when he starts talking about his sexual history. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing that can happen. You know, uh, so you check us out and we'll, hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, y'all know me. I'm the horror guru. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Twitch. You can find me on Facebook. Just look up the horror guru or blood splattered cinema and I'll be there. Do not forget before you leave this video to like, comment, subscribe, and to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And we got Patreon. We have a Patreon. I will include both Jack and my Patreons in the description below. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route for either of us or both of us, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And uh, I guess with that said, uh, there's nothing left to say except fuck Nazis. Fuck them. Yeah. Right up the ass.